so my dear students today i tarun sir your english trainer is going to teach you how to write a descriptive essay and <clears throat> once again i would like to thank these publications reason why because they have launched mind blowing sample papers at the end so there is a topic in front of us i have already read it can anyone read out the first few lines the manner these people have presented yes anyone please read out the first few lines yeah it was a warm evening when the news came father had a rather worried look on his face mother rushed to get him a glass of water as he had just returned from work i sat beside him and asked him about his worried look and the words he uttered got me quite worried as well i have been transferred to bangalore father said with a sad look on his face we both knew that it would be challenging for both of us to shift but the real anxiety was due to the thought that we would lose contact with people we had known okay, for what okay, seemed okay. like it is okay even i even i have tried to several times even i have tried to several times see this that whether these people commit grammatical mistakes or not let me see so the first point related to descriptive writing write it down descriptive essays are always written dipika this is the first point that i am going to narrate kindly write descriptive essays are always written in past tense so you will have to actually carry great knowledge of past tense simple past <clears throat> past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous where to apply these four you people are in grade 12 so you people very well know this in the first line it was a warm evening this is past continuous and then suddenly the sentence changes into past perfect father had a rather worried had plus third form excellent excellent grammar so sorry i cannot train you people on this because this actually comes with practice keep writing descriptive essays this is how to start a descriptive essay look at the first line it should be so attractive that the readers should be forced to read the entire essay you have recently shifted to a new city okay fine it was a warm evening when the news came look at this suspense created in the beginning itself suspense created so write an essay accordingly create a suspense when it comes to story writing descriptive writing not narrative or not argumentative do not use such sentences when you write descriptive essays fine so you people have this pdf already with you and new batch students very very good news for you all that at the right moment you people have got this pdf so that you people would be in a position to even take the help of the solutions okay fine now heading towards some other topic let's see narrative essay dipika kindly read out the question narrate an incident from your own experience when you help someone prepare a meal explain what you did and what you gained from this experience extremely tough extremely tough to actually collect 400 words regarding such topic believe me my dear students if you are very very well versed in english i know my words might sound bitter but in case if you are very good at english then only attempt such topic because see you would be able to write 100 words or 150 words or even 200 word but when it comes to 400 words that's very tough when we talk about narrative essays you will have to even use direct speech sentences i hope everyone knows that what is direct speech reported speech where you use double inverted commas and you will have to use them in numbers in numbers means more than 6 or more than 8 
you will have to use interrogative sentences when you write a narrative essay you will have to use interrogative sentences also exclamatory sentences number 1 interrogative sentences are those sentences in which we ask a question in which we apply a question mark exclamatory in which we apply an exclamatory mark direct speech sentences in which we apply double inverted commas so this is how you write a narrative essay anyone who would wish to read out just the first few lines no one wants to read how lazy grade 12 students are arushi is coming into the picture once again arushi yes. yeah it was yet another mon monday day for the siblings to get through while their parents were at work being awake sakura couldn't hold in a rage towards her elder brother yuki wait wait hold 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 on hold on okay, hold sir. on again now after now after descriptive essay we have come to narrative essay where these people have tried to again create some suspense so grade 12 students are you getting my point they have again tried to create some suspense with the use of at least one good vocabulary one good vocab can anyone tell me the meaning of mundane it was yet another mundane isko mundane na samajh lena mundane what is the meaning of this word ho oh, ho oh, no one no one arushi wants to speak but she has muted herself sir i'm not sure so maybe some sort of a difficult or some sort of difficult okay and rest of you what has happened to your vocabulary why come how come you are not entering into the picture it was yet another mundane day for the siblings to get through while their parents were away at work yes absolutely mundane actually means a day that might lead to some or the other chaos c h a o s chaos means disturbance absolutely correct so these people have used one vocab and again suspense and can you see this look at this once you are an english writer once you are an english writer what you people have to do is that i'll tell you you people will have to use such characters sakura can you see the name that these people have used look at this there are many other common names there are many other common names but they have used a very very extraordinary name sakura what the hell is this but nice it creates interest so students avoid attempting narrative essay avoid attempting narrative essay this is just a suggestion please that's your wish in case if you find that you find it easy then go for it you can write an argumentative essay you can write descriptive essay let's see what is the next point yeah there it comes there it comes argumentative arushi please read out the topic yes sir international sports promote friendship between nations argue for or against the given statement always start an argumentative essay with a definition and if you do not know the meaning of international sports i am so sorry quit i know you people must be having this in your mind that sir then what to select what to select this is the reason i kept on saying keep reading the times of india keep reading the hindu keep reading the hindustan times so students look at this the manner these people have started the essay in a national sports refer to the sports when the participants represent at least two countries wow
the most well known international sports event is the olympic games and others including the fifa world cup so what what all considerations what all considerations you will have to make i'll tell you number 1 argumentative essay involves a lot of examples argumentative essays involve a lot of data research examples are you getting my point examples data research facts and figures if you aren't aware what are international sports and how does it create harmony between nations then that would be a problematic situation but the fact fact remains that the people who have done a lot of reading in case if there are many students i have seen since the beginning now old students i have ramnik and parth soni with me these are my old students i would like to say in case if you have done a lot of reading for the past one year then that would be very beneficial for you so arushi and dipika you are my new batch students please at any cost start reading so that you can write such essays otherwise only learning english sorry 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 everyone can learn english you will have to improve your general awareness general knowledge and current affairs all these three and no english teacher is going to help you in this am i am i really audible to you people am i really have you people understood whatever i am trying to say yes sir yes sir okay okay now comes now comes this is a little bit easy one word and believe me students who are going to appear for the board exams this year that is just after two days please prepare something on lockdown or viruses or pollution diseases online education these are <clears throat> these are few important topics for you people go for it you can write it down one word description lockdown viruses pollution diseases online education dipika arushi ramnik and parth please select one topic and do get it done by tomorrow dipika which topic will you select sir pollution sir pollution pollution wow very clever girl look at <laughs> she has selected the easiest topic pollution so fine i have locked this topic now this is gone arushi which topic from your side i was thinking about pollution only okay go for uh, it go for it and uh, ramnik and parth so virus viruses and disease diseases okay thank you so much now heading towards heading towards the easiest topic this is one sided this is one sided topic and do attempt this this is my not only suggestion but these are my instructions do attempt such kind of topic online education during the pandemic has been a blessing in disguise give your views on the above statement wow here you can use a lot of quotations here you can use a lot of proverbs idioms and phrases i hope you are getting my point and look at the manner these people have started the essay change is the only constant wow change is the only constant means change is the only method that can help you to survive in this cut throat competition gala kaat pratiyogita can you understand the hindi of this oh oh very few of them use such english so please students day 1 start practicing like this never before has this saying been more accurate than in the present time there is success in every failure oh ho amazing look at the first sentence and look at this quotation in double inverted commas amazing yes class so essay can anyone raise his or his or her doubts related to any topic i can give you points for any topic on this earth come on 
Parth and Ramnik, let me see what are your preparations. Come on, tell me. Arushi, Deepika, which topic do you find the most difficult and you have the expectation of that topic to actually be appearing in your exam? Oh, 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 sir, yes, tell me. Sir, every cloud has a silver lining. Every cloud has a silver lining is very easy phrase. Navjot Singh Sidhu has used such phrase for several times. Every cloud has a silver lining. Can anyone tell me what is the meaning of this? Girls. So uh, I, what I what I infer from this is that every cloud, be it a dark one, also has a sun behind it. And when we see it, we uh, see the rays. This means that everything, be it the worst of things, there are positives in things. We learn from everything. Okay, I think so. You repeated the words. Okay, every cloud has a silver lining. Path. You can also take this. as every dog has its day. So if you write a parallel, if you write a substitute heading to this, this would be easier for you to write an essay. But for this, you will have to understand the meaning actually. If you don't understand the meaning, please quit writing such essays. I know the meaning. Every cloud has a silver lining means there is a hopeful situation that would be coming in the future, in case if you are suffering and in case if you are facing rainy days in the present, so wait for the right time, there would be a hopeful situation in future. And we all know that hope is life. I hope, Parth, are you done with it? Yes, sir. sir one okay. more. One more, one more, okay. This time Deepika will answer to your question. Come on, raise. Relate how the reading of literature has enriched and define you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Relate how? Reading of literature. The reading has of... and define you. What a topic. Oh my God, what a topic. Deepika, relate how reading of literature has enriched and refined you. Enriched means filled you with immense knowledge. Refined you means has corrected you and has helped you to become a very learned kind of a student. Come on, tell me how literature has helped you people. Deepika, one line from your side. And then so we would, yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. So whenever we read something new, we always get to know something about that topic and we are not aware of it. Uh, some, we get to learn about something new and uh, we get to know about the facts also that sorry i did not actually get an appropriate answer now according to tarun sir i know many students would be very confused and they must be even worried that sir how will we be able to write like tarun sir come on stop it you people can write far better than tarun sir it is just your exposure to the outside world. Now see how quickly I have drawn this picture for you. Literature consists of prose, novel, poetry, fiction, drama, suspense, romance, thrill, love, hatred, revenge. So even you people have read this in the Merchant of Venice, Tempest, Candida, etc., etc. You people more, uh, know more than me. And I don't know how does it, how the, like these points do not strike you while writing an essay. Please. Okay, class. So first of all, Sunday, I would be conducting a class online and offline. So this is the benefit for all the students. Online would be in the morning. Morning hours, I'll post the time tomorrow morning itself. 
so come out of your comfort zone and wake up on time mind it and offline class would be after 5:30 pm i am done with the essay writing tomorrow in the online class i would be doing three things with you people and the most important thing would be report writing ramnik and parth what do you think what are the chances of report writing to appear in the in this board exam 100% 90% 80% no my dear ramnik sir 90% 90% 90%. and tarun sir's tarun sir's knowledge and experience says that 100% report writing so see you tomorrow in the online and offline class be there god bless you all thank you so much bye bye thank you sir thank you sir bye 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 bye, -bye.